Hello and welcome, Dungeon Donnie with me, the dragon, still right. Well then, folks, I hope you're ready to cook, because today we're making a three-course meal, a three-course budget meal. I want to show you all the versatility you can get out of one lone ingredient. And to prove my point, I'm going to use something I'm sure y'all haven't had in a long time. Salty crackers. If anyone uses slurs and says they're just words, call them one of these. <laughs> So all three foods we're making are going to have saltine crackers in them. We are making saltine toffee, a meatloaf, and a saltine salad. Oh god, I'm sorry! Alright then, now let's go over the budget for our budget meal. Now bear in mind there are a few things that do not count when it comes to budget. That being herbs, spices, condiments, and staples. Now I'm paraphrasing from the wolf pit. Staples are like an investment. They're there so you can use a little bit of them for later. And today, I think you're going to see a few of my own staples. Some of my budget from good old Wally World consists of four Roma tomatoes for $1.52, one red bell pepper for $1.38, one pound of ground beef for $3.76, I bought a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips for $2.44. Now bear in mind, this bag has two cups of chocolate chips, and we're only using one, so that's $1.22. And lastly, we have great value salting crackers for $1.18 but we're only using two of the four sleeves. So that's 59 cents. Oh, and I forgot to mention green onions for 88 cents. Now bear in mind, if I didn't cut in half the chocolate chips and the saltines, this would be 11.16. But given that we have, we spent $9.35. That's $9.35 for a three course meal with six servings. All right then folks, let's get to it. All right then, here we are, and let's get to it. But first, let's say goodbye to the paws. So first, we're gonna do what our mothers always told us not to do, having dessert before dinner. So right here, I laid out half a pack of saltines, which makes 20. So what we're gonna do is cover those saltines with caramel. So we're gonna make some caramel. So we have here one stick of butter, or half a cup, and equal parts, half a cup, of brown sugar. So let's heat the stove to medium. Then we'll add the sugar and let it all emulsify. And after five minutes, we're gonna pour that over our crackers. And after that, we're gonna bake it all. Speaking of which, preheat 400 degrees. And that butter's already melting. And with this, let's add our brown sugar. And like I said before, this should take about five minutes. All right, folks, let's do it. Carefully now. Now, let's bake for seven minutes at 400 degrees. And go. And clean as you go. And there we go. And in the meantime, we have here a whole cup of chocolate chips. So our plan here is to heat these up at 30 second intervals. And when they're nice and melted, we're pouring that over our saltines. There we go. And look at that luscious chocolate. <laughs> Turn this off. <laughs> look at those. Now I'm going to preheat the oven again. Which, which, which will be for our main course. Only 350 this time. It's an easy does it. We're going to spread that nice and even. Now we're almost done with these. We're going to chill them, but before doing so, how about some garnishes? Now, as you can see, I have here a baking shelf, but amongst that I have myself a candy basket. And in that I have some peppermints. So I crushed them down, and in my pantry, I had some peanuts. So I crushed those down too. And here we have our garnish. Cover it all up. So last thing we're gonna do with that is chill it. It's obviously quicker in the freezer, but you can also do so in the fridge. I got these nice and plated. So in the freezer they go. And that's how we make saltine toffee. Now, next thing's next. We have our meatloaf. Now I want to save y'all the mess and tell you how I did this. 
So the other half of our saltines used for the toffee I used for the meatloaf. So I took half of those, crushed them up really good, and threw in an egg, alongside the things I have here. A tablespoon's worth each of oregano and malt vinegar. Before I explain the rest here, let me praise this for a minute. Now it's nice to have a vinegar on hand, be it a rice vinegar, a white vinegar, or in the case for a meatloaf, a red wine. But I love malt vinegar for beef and pork. And as you can see by that flag, this stuff is put on fish and chips in the land of egg. In the land of egg. In the land of egg. So recap, tablespoon of oregano and malt vinegar, and half a tablespoon's worth each of garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, Cajun seasoning, and Worcestershire sauce. And I forgot to mention, chili paste. Oh, and that bell pepper we bought. I diced the thing up really nice and threw half that thing into our loaf. And as you can see here, I forgot chicken bouillon. So I mixed all those together well and mixed in a pound of ground beef. And as you can see here, we have ourselves a loaf. Now the tomato glaze here consists of two thirds a cup of ketchup and a tablespoon's worth each of malt vinegar and brown sugar. Now look at that beautiful thing. Now if you're wondering, I did not put any oil or spray anything into this because the meat will naturally secrete oil to begin with. So let's open this thing up and bake this up for 35 to 40 minutes. Speaking of which, here we go. All right then, we have one last thing to make. But given it's best to make it right before you eat it, we're gonna wait a minute here. So be right back. All right, I think enough time has passed. So the last part of our three course meal is going to be a saltine salad. And now I've probably lost you all. Right now you might be like, but I assure you, don't worry. This is actually something made in the South. Though I'm doing a little twist on it. We have here one whole sleeve of saltines, nice and cracked up. Not nearly as much as it was for the meatloaf though. We have here three eggs that I have hard boiled and chopped up nicely. We have here one chopped set of green onions, four Roma tomatoes chopped up, and the other half of our bell peppers. Now the twist on this saltine salad are the bell peppers and the seasoning. We have here a teaspoon's worth of onion powder, garlic salt, and pepper to taste. So I'm mixing that into two thirds of a cup of mayo. Now this is why you want to make this before serving it, because you do not want those crackers to go soggy. So let's add our eggs and our tomatoes. And lastly, our green onions. Oh, that's the meatloaf. Oh boy. Throw in mostly green onions here, and even a little for garnishing later. And there we go. Finish at about the same time our meatloaf and our saltine salad. And trust me folks, I've made this before. And it shocked me just how tasty this was. Look at this clip here. Wait, what? That actually works, what the f***? It's actually good. Hold the f*** on. How's that good? So then folks, here we have our three course meal. Alright then, we did it! You see how much use you can get out of one ingredient? Now imagine that ingredient is like, say, a meat or a vegetable that you have a lot of. You can take that one thing and stretch that out. I do just that for several things, be it Thanksgiving leftovers or a single meat I stretch throughout the week. You can do so much with so many ingredients. Do not be intimidated. And especially don't be discouraged. Well, in any case, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time in my dungeon. Oh, and one more thing. Here's something a friend made for me.